Hello everyone. In this video, I will uh, explain you how to create dialog boxes and how to call them within the uh, Cardis's visualization. I also will show you how to use date picker, which is one of the elements of the visualization. Uh, so here I have created uh, a project already, where I have declared three variables. All of them are of type date. So I have due date, start date, and calendar date. All of them are type date again. And here I have also added one visualization in which I have these five elements. I have this start date which is a label, due date which is a label. I have the text box here in front of start date. And for that, for the text property, I have uh, this percentage T and then the format y y y y for the year mm for months and dd for the day and as the uh, text variable i have assigned it to the start date as you can see here for the second one i have the similar uh, in that element however the text variable this time is uh, due date i also have this uh, push button here which I will use to determine the start and due dates. When I click on it, I need to have the dialog box opened, and within that, I need to determine the start date, due date, and then uh, uh, have them appearing here as well. So here, as the test, the text of this uh, element, I have set set the date, and now I need to need to create the dialog box and configure this button to open the dialog box when I press it. So for that we need to add another visualization object to our project. I just call it uh, calendar. Let's say dialog DLG I will use for it. And here we have the a second in it visualization what we need to do now is to go to the properties in the visualization we need to select dialog for this one so that this will be in the form of a dialog box uh, we can determine uh, the size in it for this dialog box I will use 350 by 350 I guess it will be enough and we will see that the, the size of the this visualization indeed changes. Here what I need is to place a date picker and I will I can find it here date picker as you can see or you can just type here date picker and you will find it here. Drag and drop it here into the visualization uh, we need to associate it the, the value that we select from this calendar indeed with a variable as the variable I will select this calendar date and that's all and now I will insert few uh, buttons Indeed, I guess I need four of them. Yeah, I will use four. So I'll just copy and paste, and then configure each uh, each one of them separately. So for this one, I will I would like to call it start date. So pressing this, I will determine the start date with this due date. This will be OK for closing the calendar and this will be cancelled. Let's start with the start date. So what I want to do is, is that when I click on this, I want to have the calendar date being assigned to the start date. Uh, Alright, I can do it here in the input configuration we have on mouse click 
if I click on it we will have this uh, input configuration window opened and what I want to do here is to uh, let's do it with some ST code I want to execute a piece of code in the ST programming language and what you want to do here is to change the value of PSCPRG dot uh, start date PSCPRG dot calendar date so the calendar date will be copied into the start date and that's all in the second case we will have similar scenario but this time the variable in which we want to change the value is due date so if you click on each one of them the, v the value of the calendar date will be copied to uh, one of those two variables when I click on OK I want to uh, close the dialog which is this uh, calendar dialog and the result is OK so that's it and with a, ca with a cancel I want to again close the dialog and its result is set to cancel so now we need to uh, configure this button here as well so when I click on it I need to have the calendar DLG opened as a result again here in the input configuration on mouse click I will select this open dialog and here I need to determine the name of the dialog that I want to open so calendar underline DLG and I guess that's it so here when we click on this the calendar dialog will be opened selecting the date and pushing each one of these push buttons we will have the date uh, set for the start and due dates indeed so let's see if it works properly so login with download so there are no errors as a result we can run the project so initially the start date and due date uh, have the value of 000 let me just close the style and place uh, the visualization on the right hand side here indeed we don't have any piece of code we, we don't have anything uh, in in the PSC underline P PRG we have only some variables which receive the value from the uh, visualization part so now if I click on set the date you can see that it appears here within the visualization and you see that the, the date of today which is 14th July 2017 is selected by default I click on 20s and then click on start date and you see here that July 20s is selected as the start date and if I click on 20 alright so now if I click on OK the visualization or the dialog is closed and we don't have the due date I can try to uh, browse it again yeah one more thing here is that before explaining the other buttons so if I want to go to the let's say 2018 clicking on this part on the title somehow will give me the opportunity to select the year as well and here I can change the month let's say 29th September 2018 I want to have as the due date but before then that if I click on cancel that will not take effect again so let me select 30 September 2018 and clicking on due date we will have 
the date appearing here in the due date box and clicking on OK the dialog box that we had uh, for picking the date indeed will be closed you can have some more options here to reset the dates and so on and so forth but in this video I just wanted to show you how to create uh, a dialog indeed which is indeed a visualization window where you need to select dialog as the type of the visualization you can determine the size or you can have it as the f uh, full size of the visualization window and here you have you have seen uh, how to use the date picker and how to execute a piece of structured text code when we click on a push button or how to uh, here you have seen how to open a dialog clicking on OK or cancel you have seen how to close the dialog okay so that's all for this video I hope you have enjoyed watching this video thank you for watching and as usual see you next time